Melissa. Yes, yeah, Scott, Lisa, we have been seeing this gang related violence play out over the past several months in Scranton from the shooting of Scranton police detective Kyle Gilmartin to this week's deadly shooting involving a 17 year old. Now officials say this violence will keep happening unless we fix this broken juvenile justice system. Come to the front door with your empty hands in the air. Everybody's at risk. My family, your family, anybody that's out on the streets during the day or at night. This, it's getting out of control. As a SWAT team surrounded this home along North Main Avenue in Scranton Tuesday night, 17-year-old Kenneth Tapia was taken into custody in connection with a deadly shooting earlier that evening. The teen now identified by Scranton police as the shooter and a gang member. Lackawanna County President Judge Trish Corbett says there's no accountability for these teens and they know it. We also need it as incentive to stay out of trouble because the word got out and we heard it all over the place. Everybody, all the kids were talking. No, no problems, no worries. The only thing they could do is put us on the electronic monitor and we don't have to follow, follow that anyway. Officials say this gang related violence is growing because of the lack of detention beds. Right now, there are zero detention beds across 13 counties in northeastern Pennsylvania and nowhere to house the most violent youth offenders. Sometimes kids are getting placed hours and even states away or they're getting sent back home and returning to school hallways. I am frustrated and you know, now you're talking about the safety and security of, of the county, not alone, not only the city, um, and this problem is just getting worse and worse. After Tapia's arrest, a special hearing was needed to place him in an adult prison, and that was only allowed because he was charged as an adult. But that adult prison may eventually become more than just a temporary fix. Lackawanna County officials are working to bring about a dozen beds into an isolated, unused wing of the Lackawanna County prison. A quick solution is to utilize the prison that we have and the, and the availability. We need to do it ASAP. That would be a, a major move, so you have to talk with the, uh, the unions, you have to talk with a, a bunch of different people to make sure that uh, when in fact we do make this move, or if in fact we do make this move and move forward with the plan, that it's, it's done the right way. It's a decision still in the works after the state gave them the green light in January to get these juvenile beds up and running. 90% or maybe higher of juvenile offenders end up being great kids and, and having great outcomes. It really is a small percentage of the juveniles that we're looking at. And that's why 12 beds will probably be enough for us. Officials say the plans to utilize the county prison to detain young offenders has been in the works for more than a year. Judge Corbett says the county has been working round the clock to try to make this happen. Meanwhile, Scranton police say they expect more charges following Tuesday's deadly shooting. Right now, besides Tapia, an 18 year old and three other kids between the ages of 15 and 17 have all been charged in Tuesday's brawl. Scott Lisa. Melissa, thank you for that report. All of Melissa's in-depth reporting on the detention bed crisis can be found on our website. Just search Kids for Cash, the new crisis on WNEP.com.